Hello and welcome. To solve this logarithmic equation, let us start by changing the base of these two logarithms to base 2 to match this one. Now, when we apply the change of base formula for logarithms to these two terms, then this logarithmic equation is going to be log to base 2 of 8x multiplied by log to base 2 of 2 over log to base 2 of the old base, which is x over 8. And then for this term, divided by log to base 2 of 16 over log to base 2 of the old base, which is x over 2. And of course, this is equal to 1 over 4. Now, from here, we have log to base 2 of 8x multiplied by log to base 2 of 2 is equal to 1. So, this is 1 over log to base 2 of x over 8. Now, remember that when we divide by a fraction, it is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of that fraction. So now that I have changed this from division to multiplication, I am going to flip this fraction upside down. So here we have log to base 2 of x over 2 over log to base 2 of 16. But remember that 16 is 2 to the power 4. And recall also that log to base a of a to the power b is equal to b. So that simply means that log to base 2 of 2 to the power 4 is equal to 4. So log to base 2 of 16 is equal to 4. And this is equal to 1 over 4. Now to further simplify this equation, let us remember that log a times b is equal to log a plus log b and log a over b is equal to log a minus log b. So that means that we can write this as log to base 2 of 8 plus log to base 2 of x and this is multiplied by 1 over log to base 2 of x minus log to base 2 of 8 multiplied by log to base 2 of x minus log to base 2 of 2 divided by 4. And of course, this is equal to 1 over 4. Now, to make life easy for ourselves, let log to base 2 of x be equal to d. Here we also have d. And here we also have d. Now, here we have log to base 2 of 8. But you know that 8 can be written as 2 to the power 3. And of course, you know that log to base 2 of 2 to the power 3 is equal to 3. So this is 3. This is also 3. And of course, log to base 2 of 2 is equal to 1. So this equation becomes 3 plus d. Multiplied by 1 over d minus 3. multiplied by d minus 1 over 4 is equal to 1 over 4. Now let us multiply through this equation by 4 times d minus 3. So here we have 4d minus 3. Now when we multiply the left hand side of this equation by this, of course you know that 4 is going to cancel 4. And d minus 3 is going to cancel d minus 3, leaving us with this 
times this. That is 3 plus d multiplied by d minus 1. And then on the right hand side, 4 is going to cancel 4, leaving us with d minus 3. Now, when we open these brackets, we have 3 times d. That is 3d. 3 times minus 1, minus 3. d times d plus d squared. d times minus 1, minus d. This is equal to d minus 3. From here, we have d squared. 3d minus d is plus 2d. And of course, we have minus 3. We move these two terms over to the left and we have minus d and plus 3. And this is equal to 0. Of course, minus 3 is going to cancel plus 3. 2d minus d is going to give us d. So on the left hand side, we have d squared plus d is equal to 0. And of course, you know that we can factorize this. We have d into d squared divided by d is d and d divided by d is 1 and this is equal to 0. And of course you know that this equation simply means that either d is equal to 0 or d plus 1 is equal to 0. From here, when we subtract 1 from both sides of this equation, we have that d is equal to minus 1. So we have two values of d, 0 and minus 1. And of course, this simply means that log to base 2 of x is equal to 0 or log to base 2 of x is equal to minus 1. From here, we have that 2 to the power 0 is equal to x. So x is equal to 2 to the power 0, which is equal to 1. And from here, we have that 2 to the power minus 1 is equal to x. So x is equal to 2 to the power minus 1, which is equal to half. So we have two values of x. We have x equal to 1 and x equal to half. Now let us check our answer. When x is equal to 1, this equation becomes log to base 2 of 8 multiplied by log to base 1 over 8 of 2 divided by log to base 1 over 2 of 16. Of course, this can be written as log to base 2. Remember, 8 is 2 to the power 3. We can write 1 over 8 as 8 to the power minus 1. And of course, you know that 2 is the cube root of 8. So this is 8 to the power 1 over 3. Divided by, here we have log to base 2 to the power minus 1. 16 is 2 to the power 4. 2 to the power 4. And from here we have log to base 2 of 2 to the power 3 multiplied by log to base 8 to the power minus 1 of 8 to the power minus 1 to the power minus 1 over 3. Of course, minus 1 multiplied by minus 1 over 3 is going to give us 1 over 3. Divided by log to base 2 to the power minus 1 of 2 to the power minus 1 to the power minus 4. Once more, minus 1 times minus 4 is going to give us 4. And of course, you know that log to base 2 of 2 to the power 3 is equal to 3. Log to base 8 to the power minus 1 of 8 to the power minus 1 to the power minus 1 over 3 is equal to minus 1 over 3. Divided by log to base 2 to the power minus 1 of 2 to the power minus 1 to the power minus 4 is equal to minus 4. Now this is going to cancel that and this negative is going to cancel that, leaving us with 1 over 4, which is exactly what we have on the right hand side.
And when x is equal to half, this equation becomes log to base 2 of 8 times half, which is equal to 4, multiplied by log to base 1 over 16 of 2, divided by log to base 1 over 4 of 16. Now, of course, this is equal to log to base 2 of 2 squared. 4 is 2 squared. Multiplied by log to base 16 to the power minus 1 of 16 to the power 1 over 4. Of course, you know that 2 is 16 to the power 1 over 4. That is the fourth root of 16. Divided by log to base 4 to the power minus 1 of 4 squared. 16 is 4 squared. And from here we have log to base 2 of 2 squared multiplied by log to base 16 to the power minus 1 of 16 to the power minus 1 to the power minus 1 over 4. Minus 1 times minus 1 over 4 is going to give us 1 over 4. Divided by log to base 4 to the power minus 1 of 4 to the power minus 1 to the power minus 2. Once more, minus 1 times minus 2 is going to give us 2. And of course, log to base 2 of 2 to the power 2 is equal to 2. Log to base 16 to the power minus 1 of 16 to the power minus 1 to the power minus 1 over 4 is equal to minus 1 over 4. And log to base 4 to the power minus 1 of 4 to the power minus 1 to the power minus 2 is equal to minus 2. Now this is going to cancel that. This negative is going to cancel this, leaving us with 1 over 4, which is exactly what we have on the right-hand side of the original equation. So these two values of x satisfy the original equation. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a thumbs up to support the channel. Thanks for watching. And you can see more tutorials here.